Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at cloud computing in a nutshell. Before we look at cloud computing, let's talk about how it used to be in a traditional data center. Traditionally when you need massive computing resources, for example, building servers for an e-commerce site, backend servers for mobile apps, distributed machines for data processing and mining. You need to either buy physical machines and licenses, or rent from the data center for a long-term contract, such as one year, three years or five years fixed term contract. The upfront cost could be hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. There are a lot of uncertainties of how many resources you need over a long period. You can only estimate from the historical data. It's difficult to forecast the actual resources you need. If you overestimate the resources, you will end up with a lot of idle resources and massive waste. If you underestimate them, there will be a risk of shortcomings and you will end up spending more money. Owning physical resources gives you an extra burden of operational overheads. You need to physically install the network, servers, and operating systems. You need updates and patches of operating systems from time to time, physically recover from hardware failures in the worst case. You even need to manage the security of the physical location. It also gives you much longer startup time. Most importantly these extra works are error-prone and non-value-added. In addition, there are many hidden costs, such as renting space for servers, hiring people to do extra works, insurance for hardware. Small businesses have fewer buying powers which means you will pay much more than big companies. Data centers tend to increase fixed costs all the time. In contrast, cloud computing exists to solve these problems. Cloud computing is defined by Wikipedia as following, it's on-demand availability of computing resources, especially data storage and computing power, without direct active management by the user. Basically what it means is that you can access massive computing power and storage around the world over the internet. It's an on-demand service, as you don't need to physically install and maintain these resources. You don't need to buy any physical resources. You only rent them and pay for what you use, such as paying by hours, minutes, or even seconds. There are three main characteristics of cloud computing, their flexibility, scalability, and elasticity. Flexibility means that cloud computing is completely on demand, as you can rent or cancel computing resources anytime. You pay by hours, minutes, or seconds as you go, with no long-term commitment. For example, if you need a massive computing power to run machine learning algorithms, or render videos for one hour once a week. You can never do this with a traditional data center. Scalability means massive computing resources are completely democratized. You can access them no matter what size of business you are. You can be a startup company to rent a server for a pilot project, and scale out 1000 servers as your business expands. Elasticity means you can scale up or down, in or out automatically in minutes. You can schedule the capacity or automatically respond to the demand change. The system can automatically recover itself. For example, your servers can automatically scale out and respond to the traffic during the Black Friday sale and scale in after the event. There are six advantages of cloud computing listed on the AWS white paper. You can trade capital expenses for variable expenses, which means there is no large amount of capital required before you start the project. You only pay as much as you consume. This is a huge economic advantage for startups. Hundreds of thousands of customers are aggregated in the cloud give companies like Amazon massive scalability and buying power. You share the benefit from massive economies of scale. You no longer need to guess the capacity when you can scale resources at any time. You can manage cloud resources with a few clicks. There is less overhead than running a data center. Cloud providers have done the heavy lifting for you. So you can focus on your business goal and increase agility. You no longer need to spend time and money on running data centers, so you can focus on creating more values for your customers. You can create resources, deploy applications, and reach a global audience in minutes with a global cloud infrastructure at a minimal cost. Okay, I hope this gives you an overall idea of cloud computing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you liked the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!